Vittorio Rossi hasn't been allowed to pay for a coffee at Bar Roma in Villamard since he made the place famous in one of his plays. He has a strong attachment to this community and to this neighborhood. Well, I always believed uh, early on that, uh, and, and was communicated to me early on uh, by various uh, professors, you know, that if you're going to write, write from a, 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 a vantage point of, uh, of uh, experience and knowledge, knowing that which you write of. So based on that, I just reacted to my, uh, my given surroundings, uh, the, you know, mainly family and, um, and uh, uh, the interactions between parents and sons and daughters and aunts and then that sort of thing. And that's what uh, has provided me with uh, perhaps my greatest inspiration uh, in my career. The early interest for the arts that was sparked in elementary school was almost lost when Vittorio flirted with the idea of becoming an electrical engineer. Though I, I, uh, I had an interest in, uh, cre in, in writing in grade school, it got suppressed when I went to high school in some ways, and, uh, and I did nurture this idea. However, when I graduated, I, uh, I was actually accepted at, uh, in college, at Dawson College, to study pure and applied sciences, and I realized that it wasn't really in my heart. It was an intellectual fascination, so I dropped them, uh, the, the, the program, and I, and, I, and I transferred to creative arts, and the following year I, I began studying theater. His early plays were well received and led to his being named playwright in residence at the Centaur Theater. Well, after that, I, I uh, though I won the award and I made some, created some noise in the community, it wasn't enough for me to begin working professionally. So I still held my part-time job selling shoes at the Bay, uh, lady shoes, and. Uh, and so I went back the following year with another one-act play called, uh, which was my second play called Backstreets. And uh, again, I won the award for best new play as well as uh, the award for best uh, actor. And it was then that I uh, uh, was invited by Morris Podbury of the Central Theater to become a playwright in residence. And uh, I've been working professionally ever since. At the Centaur, Morris Podbury gave Vittorio the push that launched his career. It wasn't much of a push. The kid was running already. He was, I think he was born running. He, uh, it just it was tr tremendous vitality and love of language and character. It was so evident that, you know, I just had to invite the guy and he, like, leapt in to take hold of the stage. It was a, a very natural talent. But just a matter of learning the ropes a bit, learning the angles, uh, how to structure a three-act play, how to... Um, work entrances and your exits, but uh, the raw talent is, was very evident. And uh, we saw the one-act plays uh, that were done here as part of the Quebec Drama F F Festival, and uh, they swept everybody. I mean, there was won the awards. My wife decided to help put them on as a festival of one-act plays, and so we invited Victoria to come and be our playwright in residence. And uh, so we've done a play every two years, I think. Uh, and uh, this last time, was the best. Uh, the whole community came out. So we said to him, OK, so do another one. See if you can do it. So he's going to write another one for next season. And we hope we can keep the, the ball rolling uh, and to get the community to come out. It's beautiful to see when they come out. It's a great celebration of life. And uh, um, he obviously loves his characters and his community and his people. And uh, that's what you feel on the stage. And everybody has a great time. A two-year stint in the series Urban Angel led to a starring role in the film Canvas opposite Gary Busey and John Rice davies I can see you know how to dress like a thief. Don't kid yourself. All my friends dress this way. Do you know a guy named... Chris Williams. Chris Williams. Oh, don't know anyone like that. They found him shot dead in a car with a stolen painting. No kidding. Okay, I guess we got some competition. <laughs> well, we got a lot of work to do tonight. Two jobs. Here, have some good Greek coffee. Hmm? And sharpen you up. In my acting career so far, it's been the uh, most important um, 
uh, piece of acting I've done, mainly because I finally got to act with a you know Hollywood star, and that was challenging on its own. I mean, this this man carries a lot of weight, and um, um, and uh, you know he was an Oscar-nominated actor, you know, so he uh, it was a little you know difficult at the beginning. But uh, it didn't, once they called action on the set, uh, I did my job and I was very proud of that. Very, very proud of that. Uh, I always believed that the, the higher the level of acting is opposite you, it just makes you look good too. And I think that that's the case in Canvas, that uh, Gary Busey and, and the, the other uh, star, John Reese davies just heightened whatever I did, because they're such good actors. <laughs> Each of his plays has brought an increased audience, which now eagerly awaits his next offering. Well, I'm always writing, and I hope to uh, to finish something, uh, a first draft of my new play, uh, hopefully by June. Uh, I'm going to stay away from family uh, for the next one, because after The Last Adam, I, uh, I wouldn't know where to go, how, what else to explore for now. Uh, on the theme, on the subject of Italian family. I know in my heart that in the future I'm probably going to write four or five more of them because there's just too many avenues for me left to explore. But after the last atom, I, I can't do it right away. Um, um, I reached, I believe I, I, I tried to reach something with the last atom that for me right now is it just, I need more time to go back to that subject. So I'm, I'm writing something now that explores. Uh, uh, relationships between um, you know young couples in their 20s you know men and uh, and women uh, uh, you know from the age range of 20 to 30 let's say uh, and that's what I'm um, that's what I'm writing on now I don't have a title yet though. Yeah. Chiba is proud to award the premio for creativity to Vittorio Rossi <laughs> 